Bonjour Genie Engineers! Welcome to my problem a day series. In this video we're going to cover a horizontal curve problem. Now if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let's get started. Okay, so we have a horizontal curve for new highway and it has the intersection angle is equal to 60 degrees. The uh, R, which is the radius, is equal to 600 feet. The station at PI is 12 station or 1200 feet. And we need to find the degree of curve, tangent distance, length of the curve, ten station at PC and at PT. So to calculate the degree of the curve, the, if you look at the equations on the reference handbook on page 181, you will see here that there is no equation that's given to us uh, as the degree of the curve. But what we have is we have this equation, which is in terms of degree of the curve. So what we can do is just rearrange the equation and calculate for D. So let's write the equation down. So we have R is equal to 5,729.58, divide that by D. Now let's calculate for D. So we have D is equal to 5,729.58, and divide that by R, which is the radius. We have the radius, it's given to us, it's 600 feet. So, and I'll make sure you actually use it in feet. Let's do 5,729.58 divided by 600 feet. So if you plug in this, you will get an answer of 9.55 degrees. So that is your answer. The next thing we're going to calculate is the tangent distance. Now, if you look at the equations on the reference handbook, you will see that you are giving two equations for the tangent. One is in terms of R, the radius, and the other one in terms of LC, which is the, long, the length of the long cord. Now, if you look at what was given to us, you will see that it will be better or easier to use the first equation in terms of r because we're given r, the radius, and we're giving the angle of uh, intersection, i. For if you want to use the second equation, you will have to calculate the length of the long cord. So it will save you much more time if you just use the first equation. So let's write it down. So we have t is equal to r tangent i over 2. Now, R is 600 feet, tangent of I, which is 60 degrees, divided by 2. If you plug in this in your calculator, you should get an answer of 346.4 feet. So that is your answer. Next question, we need to calculate the length of the curve. So make sure you know the difference between the length of the curve and the uh, LC, which is the length of the long cord. So different, you have to differentiate between the two. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I don't know why on the reference handbook, they don't really show you where L is, but this is the length of the curve. It's this length right here. That's your length of the curve. Um, okay, so that's the one we need to calculate. So again, we're giving the equation. In this case, you could use either because R, the radius, we have that, it's given, the intersection of angle is given to us. D, the degree of curve we calculated in part A, so you could, so you could use either equation, so I'm just going to use the first one. So I have L is equal to R times I times pi over 180. So R is 600 feet, I is 60 degrees, and then we have pi over 180. So this gives you an answer of 628.3 feet. So that is your answer. Now, the station at PC and the station at PT. These are very important for the FE exam. I actually got something similar on my test, so make sure you know these very well. Um, unfortunately, the equations for these are not provided to you on the reference handbook. So 
make sure you watch my other video where I give all the equations that you have to remember for transportation because it's not provided to you. If you haven't checked it out, I recommend that you do and I will leave the link above somewhere there. So just click on that and then you will take you directly to the video. Okay, so the station at PC, let's write it down. I'm going to write it in red because it's very important for you guys to remember it, is equal to so this is the station at PC. So we need to calculate this station, but we were given the station at PI. So what you do is you do station at PI and you subtract from it the tangent distance minus T. It's very simple, straightforward. So the station at PC or at PI is given to us as 1200. Note that this is in feet minus the tangent which we calculated earlier, which is 346.4 feet. Now, if you plug in this, you will get 853.6 feet. Now, if you want this answer in station, I had to give my answer in station during the exam. So all you do is you divide it by 100. So you will get A plus 53.6 station. So that is your answer. So the last thing we're going to calculate is the station at PT. So to calculate the station at PT is we do, we take the station at PC and we add the length of the curve. We do not do PI plus T. It's not the same as here where we did station at PI, we subtracted the tangent distance to get PC. So Make sure you guys keep that in mind. A lot of people do that mistake. So let me write it down. So we have station at PT is equal to the station at PC, which we calculated here, and you add the length of the curve. So I'm going to write here, this does not equal to the station at PI plus T. So just so that you guys remember, this is not, it's the same as what we did here. Okay, so the station at PC is equal to 853.6 feet. That's what we calculated here. And we're going to add the length. So the length we calculated in part C, length of the curve, which is 628.3 feet. So this should be equal to 1481.9 feet which also equals to 14 plus 81.9 station. So that should be your answer. So I hope that was helpful. And remember guys, a problem a day keeps the F away. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure to share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.